in my experience, making a no-knead bread is the easiest way to make a sourdough bread. You only need to mix the ingredients and give them enough time to ferment. Shape the bread and bake it. It is that simple. But today, I also want to show you how to bake a sourdough bread in a Kempen Dutch oven. That means that you could really make this bread in the backyard or when you go camping. To start, pour 350 grams or 1.4 cups of water in a mixing bowl. Add 75 grams or half a cup of whole wheat flour. Use a silicone spatula to mix all the ingredients. For this no knead bread, I am using only 70% of water. You can change the ratios of the flours you use, but I recommend you to use a low hydration of a maximum 72%. Add 10 grams or half a tablespoon of salt. Mix well the salt with the rest of the ingredients. I am adding the salt at this point because I am not kneading this bread at all. This will help to incorporate the salt well in the dough. Now add 100 grams or a third of a cup of ripe sourdough starter. Stir well with your silicone spatula until the sourdough starter dissolves well. Add 425 grams or 2 and 3 quarter cups of bread flour. Add the flour little by little to make the mixing process with your silicone spatula easier. Use your hand to mix all the ingredients in the bowl for about one minute. Since this is a non-eat bread, our job is only to mix the ingredients well. Try to clean the walls of the bowl as you mix the dough. And this is all you are gonna have to do. After this, you will cover it with a towel and let the dough proof for about 8 to 10 hours, depending on the temperature of the room. The next morning, my dough is fermented and it has double in size. The smell of the dough is on point too. So now I take it out of the bowl and pre-shape it. As soon as I take the dough out, it deflates, but that is not a problem. Stretch the dough out and then bring it into the center. Flip the dough around. Now start to make some circular movements on the dough to add tension to it and help it keep its form. I am doing a pre-shape to help my dough have more strength and help the gluten develop better and faster. Cover the dough and let it rest for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, look at this dough. It kept its form very well. So, now let's do the final shape. To do this, repeat the same process that I previously did in the pre-shape stage. So, Pull the dough to the sides and bring it in to the center of the dough. Then flip the dough around and rotate the dough on itself to add tension to the dough. You have to be gentle as you are rotating the dough, but keep rotating until you feel like the dough is tense. Then, flour a bread basket, or you could use any bowl with a kitchen towel. Transfer the dough to the bread basket. Pinch the dough together and add more flour to the dough. Cover with a towel again and let the dough proof for about two more hours before baking. The dough has to grow at least to the rim of the bread basket. After two hours, your dough should look like this one. 
This dough has grown in size and it is ready to be baked. So for now, I'm gonna place my dough in the fridge while I prepare my Dutch oven. First of all, it is easier to use charcoal briquettes to bake in a camping Dutch oven to have a better control of the baking temperature. So light up your charcoal briquettes. Use a charcoal chimney if you have it at hand to make this process easier. I have 40 briquettes in the charcoal chimney. I will be using around 35 briquettes to bake in my 12 inch camping Dutch oven at around 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. While I wait for the briquettes to be ready, I am making a base for my bread to cook inside of the Dutch oven. I am using a silicon trivet that is heat resistant, covered with two sheets of foil paper. I like to put this trivet in the base of the Dutch oven to prevent the base of my bread from burning. After 15 minutes, the charcoal is ready. Place 11 hot briquettes on the base where you will be placing your Dutch oven. If you're using a bigger or smaller Dutch oven, you have to add more or less briquettes, depending on the size of your Dutch oven. Then, place the Dutch oven on the hot coals and place inside of the Dutch oven the trivet with foil. Place the lid on the Dutch oven and place around 25 hot coals on the Dutch oven. You need to let the Dutch oven preheat for at least 30 minutes, or if it's possible, use a preheated Dutch oven like I'm doing right now to speed up the process. Now, get your bread ready. Take the bread out of the bread basket. Add some flour on top of your bread and score it. I am making a simple cross in the middle of my bread, but you can make any design you prefer. Now, place the bread in the Dutch oven and place the lid on the oven. Right now, it is rainy season in Texas, so as I started baking, the rain started to calm down. I had to move the Dutch oven on the cover area, but I was able to keep baking. After 20 minutes, Remove the lid of the Dutch oven for about 3 seconds to let any steam escape the Dutch oven and rotate the lid a quarter to prevent any hot spots in your bread. Rotate also the whole Dutch oven and continue baking. Ten minutes later, add some more hot briquettes to the top and base of the Dutch oven to keep the Dutch oven baking at a high temperature. I added five more briquettes on the top of the lid and another three to the base of the Dutch oven. 10 minutes later, rotate the Dutch oven and the lid one more time. After 10 minutes, rotate the Dutch oven and the lid one last time. At the 55 minute mark, check your bread and it should be fully cooked. If your bread needs a little more time, let it bake until it is ready. Place the bread in a cooling rack and let it cool off for about 2 hours before slicing it. This no-knead bread has a crumb that is a little more dense, but it is still very soft and delicious. It is perfect to eat toasted with any spread or to use for any sandwich recipe. Enjoy it. I hope that this video is very useful to you and that it helps you if you're trying to bake your bread 
in a camping Dodge oven. If you like this video, please click in the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new video every week. Thank you for watching.